Hello and welcome to the Electrical Engineering Bootcamp. In this lesson, I'm going to go over underground residential distribution layouts. The general layout, similar to overhead, it starts with main feeder from substation and further branches off to feed the designated customers. The conductors used in underground are fully insulated and some may be combined under a single protective layer. It can be in the option of direct buried or be protected using the duct system. The manholes or pole boxes are installed strategically for the purpose of repair and the maintenance of cables. The cables eventually will be connected to distribution transformers, usually in the form of pad mount transformers. For small customers, a transformer may feed several customers via secondary main service cables. For large customers, on the other, on the other hand, the transformer is placed inside the customer property and serviced directly and only at the customer's equipment. For underground residential distribution, it is mostly using the radial feed type. This means the feeders supplied area are radiating from the substation like the spokes of a wheel. Due to underground feeds usually take a lot longer time to locate, the primary feeder may also arrange in an open loop pattern. In this pattern, when a fault occurs, the section of the primary where the fault occurs is disconnected at both ends and then the normally open point of that open loop will be closed instead so that the services can be continually fed while isolating the fault that needs to be investigated. I hope you enjoy um, this episode. Uh, in the electrical engineering boot camp and if you wish to connect with me um, I would be more than happy to show you more in the electrical engineering world um, for the latest news in the world of electrical engineering please please connect me with me through Twitter which my handle is at EE bootcamp and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest free training videos for you to have um, uh, more knowledge about electrical engineering and the various industries that are in the electrical engineering world. Lastly, if you wish to connect with me on LinkedIn, please send me a link of your profile to eebootcamp at yahoo.com. And after I receive um, the link to your profile, I will send you a personal invite to connect in LinkedIn. Again, thank you for your time. Have a good one. Bye for now.